I don't know how you come to the conclusion that she wasn't the unanimous MVP. She got a team into the playoffs when they hadn't been to the playoffs, I think, since 2016 or right. 2017. She led them in scoring. She led she led the she led uh the rookies mm -hmm. in scoring. She led them in assists. She averaged like six, five, six rebounds a game. Since, you know, Angel Reese had that injury to me and also coming off of Olympic break, Caitlin Clark separated herself. Yeah. She should have been unanimous. Now to celebrate her, one thing that people forget is as a rookie, she was the most blitzed player yeah. in the WNBA. I thought the race was close before the Olympic break between she and Angel, but after they had time to practice, after her teammates learned how to play with her, she just springboarded ahead. I think that second half really set the tone for me for her to be and should have been the unanimous rookie of the year. Caitlin Clark, the Indiana Fever's rookie phenom, came just one vote short of becoming the unanimous 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year. Despite dazzling fans with an unforgettable season, she missed this rare honor by a single vote, sparking a debate no one saw coming. Clark received 66 out of a possible 67 votes. The one holdout? That vote went to Angel Reese, and it's ignited a firestorm of controversy. Fans, analysts, and even NFL Hall of Famer Shannon Sharp are speaking out, and it seems the decision is far from innocent. Caitlin Clark was one vote shy of being a unanimous WNBA Rookie of the Year. She received 66 of the 67 mm -hmm. votes from the panel of national reporters and sports writers. The long vote came, the long vote cast for Clark went in favor. Of Angel, okay, Angel Reese? Me. The long vote cast not in favor of uh, Clark went to Angel Reese. The vote kept Clark from becoming the WNBA's fifth ever unanimous rookie. Who was the voter? Do you know? Anybody know? Oh, it's going to get out. Of They're going to find out. I mean, those, those situations like that, you think it's probably something personal, huh? I mean, I don't know how you come to the conclusion that she wasn't the unanimous. On his popular Nightcap show, Shannon Sharp didn't hold back his frustration. It feels personal, he remarked, hinting that this wasn't just about performance. Sharp questioned why anyone would deny Caitlin the unanimous title, given her record-breaking season. She led uh, the rookies mm -hmm. in scoring. She led them in assists. She averaged like six, five, six rebounds a game. She set record for scoring, rebound, uh, uh, assists. I mean, three pointers, three pointers. Not only did she lead the Indiana Fever to their first playoff appearance since 2016, but she was also the rookie leader in points and assists. She didn't just play the game, she dominated it. Sharp's sentiment echoes a growing belief. This vote might have been more about a grudge than merit. Long vote cast not in favor of uh, Clark went to Angel Reese. The vote kept Clark from becoming the WNBA's fifth ever unanimous rookie. Who was the vote? Caitlin Clark has become more than just a player. She's a phenomenon. The rookie's presence on the court had an undeniable impact, not only on the scoreboard, but also on the league's viewership. As Sharp pointed out, when Clark was on the court, fans were glued to their screens. Her games drew record-breaking TV ratings and packed arenas. Yet, after the Fever's playoff elimination, attendance and ratings took a nosedive. When they got out of the when they got eliminated from the playoffs, the attendance dropped. Right. The ratings drop. Now I wouldn't need to know because they oh it's the old guard and it's this and a that. So why? So what? What's the reason now? The rate the ratings have dropped since since uh, Fever have been eliminated. Yes. Look at the attendance when the Fever play your favorite mm -hmm. team, and look at the attendance when they don't. Only the only the aces sell out every right. game. They got four Olympians. Shannon Sharp isn't a new ally for Caitlin Clark. Throughout her meteoric rise, he's been one of her loudest supporters, calling out critics who have refused to acknowledge her greatness. Back in September, Sharp clapped back at media figures who downplayed Clark's impact, accusing them of disrespecting her achievements. But the controversy around her Rookie of the Year vote has only deepened the conversation. I yeah. see the woman speed up. Y'all see her, Kayla Clark is getting the crowd and right. going. Y'all see Skylar Diggins speed up to make contact with her. Stop this. Y'all oh. mad because that corn-fed Iowa girl busting y'all ass. Y'all hey. said she too weak. She can't do this. She lead the WNBA in assist. She cooking. 
Let her cook. Hey. Let her cook. <laughs> yeah. Let that girl cook. She I cut like ass. Help us. Hey, she like a double-edged sword. Oh, Joe, she cut ass left and right. Yep. Both sides cut ass. Wah, 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 wah. We're not used to seeing. She got, sa oh, she saucy with that thing. Oh, yeah. Watching her in person. Oh, Twice yeah. I've seen her. I've seen her against the Aces, and mm -hmm. I saw the All Star game. She mm -hmm. is elite. Let's be real. Angel Reese is a solid player, but there's no comparison between her rookie season and Clark's. Sure, Reese set a few records for rebounds, but her overall performance was inconsistent at best. She shot just 39.1% from the field, and some even joked that she padded her stats with missed shots. Meanwhile, her me-first attitude didn't exactly help the Chicago Sky, who ended the season worse off than before Reese joined. So how did one lone voter decide Reese deserved a Rookie of the Year vote over Clark? It feels like a robbery, plain and simple. Clark led in every major category, and yet here we are, debating whether she should have been a unanimous pick. What an incredible first year of historical proportions for Caitlin Clark. Not only Blake breaking rookie records, breaking league records, right. breaking franchise records. I mean, Andrea, she was phenomenal. That was the thing for me. It's not like she just broke records that were set by rookies. She broke records that were set by veterans in this league when they were double digits into their playing career. Caitlin Clark broke those records. For me, the individual performances of Caitlin were phenomenal. They were incredible. But my favorite part about her rookie season was how her team started to gel around her and how her chemistry with her teammates grew more and more and more with every game. Her play was outstanding, but how she elevated her teammates was also so fun to watch. Hats off to Caitlin, should have been unanimous, but I'm just gonna stop there. One thing that people forget is as a rookie, she was the most blitzed player yeah. in the WNBA, and she still put up 19, five, and eight assists, breaking, like you Sick. said, the Nasty. assist record. Sick. To be able to do that as a rookie in the face of that much defensive pressure, should have been unanimous. Should have been, been unanimous. It should have been unanimous. Drafted first overall in 2024, Clark's rookie season was nothing short of spectacular. Starting all 40 regular season games, she racked up accolade after accolade, including four Rookie of the Month awards and three Player of the Week honors. She made history as the first WNBA rookie to record a triple-double, and she shattered the single-game assist record with 19 dimes. Oh, and let's not forget her league-leading 122 three-pointers. If that doesn't scream unanimous Rookie of the Year, what does? Look, we understand that Caitlin Clark is good, but what about the women that laid the foundation? When Michael Jordan, wasn't nobody talking about Connie Hawkins? Nobody was talking about Wilt Chamberlain? Nobody was doing that. That's what we've always done. We talked about the player that's currently playing. That's not to say that there were uh, women that built the league, the Cheryl Swoops, the Cynthia Cooper, the Lisa Leslie, the Pilla Cheryl, that we, we're not trying to dismiss them, but as far as box office, Tell me the lady that came in with this. She, she's basically the LeBron James. The kind of hype that LeBron came into the NBA with, Caitlin Clark came to the WNBA with the same type of hype. And she backed it up. To top it off, Clark has earned respect from NBA legends. From Chris Paul to Luka Doncic to Victor Wembanyama, she's been showered with praise. And your 2024 WNBA Rookie of the Year is none other than Caitlin Clark. Caitlin, congrats for you to do what you did this past season with all the crazy expectations you had coming out of college. You were better than advertised. Caitlin, congratulations on an amazing season. Rookie of the Year is a yes, big honor. Ma you deserve it. Congratulations. Caitlin Clark. Finds Clark from the logo. Clark behind the back. Oh, it's Smith with the finish. When she was in college, the only college player that I was really uh, in awe of the game, you know. Balls it back, knocks it down. I'm saying men and women's college basketball, she's probably the most impressive I've seen. It's not just sports figures who are upset. Social media star Jake Paul even chimed in, voicing his disbelief that Clark didn't win unanimously. He tweeted, Numbers don't lie, points, assists, triple doubles, back to playoffs, attendance, viewership, new massive media rights deal, except for that one media member that didn't vote for her as rookie of the year. How? Congrats, Caitlin? And honestly, he's got a point. From stats to impact, Clark's resume speaks for itself. Well, look, right now, she's very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. And you know what that, that is? Kudos to her, because that means 
not only has she been putting in the work behind the scenes, but that means she's been a student of the game and in the film room. If I had to evaluate her season right now and give, me, give a fair evaluation, I would say she has lived up to expectations, right? I'm looking at her the way I look at LeBron James, right? For us, just in the women's, for us women's, uh, the women's side of things. And the height that she had, the expectations she had to live up to, uh, packing out arenas on a day-to-day -day basis, a lot of people out there waiting to see her fail and still keeping her composure as a rookie and leading this team has been a beautiful thing to see. Despite missing that one vote, Caitlin Clark remains a generational talent. Her humility, combined with her unmatched skill, has won over millions of fans. She's the kind of player that defines an era, and she's earned a place among the greatest in women's basketball. Yet, this controversy leaves an open question. Was that one vote truly about performance, or was it personal? The identity of the person who voted for Angel Reese is still unknown, but whoever it was, they've stoked a fire that won't die down anytime soon. In a season filled with jaw-dropping moments and record-breaking performances, Caitlin Clark has solidified her legacy. But the debate over her Rookie of the Year vote continues to rage on. So what do you think? Was Clark robbed of unanimous Rookie of the Year honors? Or do you side with the one rogue vote? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.